Road Review brought to you by NC Bank. You see, the beauty about Revd Up is we don't just test out some of the very best cars. No, sometimes we meet up with some of the super talented superstars in this country. If you're lucky, it will be a lady. Now, right behind me is a 26-year-old Ugandan, Patricia Apollot. Let me tell you something about her. This lady is a three-time international champion, a three-time intercontinental champion, and she has one African belt. Super talented. And she even goes past the kickboxing. She's into boxing, she's into playing football. But because this is a car show, let us also let you know that she loves cars. She is the face of Fiat here in Uganda. But more interestingly, it is the real reason that is referred to as a champion's choice. Now, you see, normally someone who doesn't win belts is the one who fights to actually put on the belts. And that is the reason it's me with the belts. Uh, Patricia and I have actually had an agreement uh, that I make sure I go on air with the belts. And she has accepted completely, without any questions. Beautiful, beautiful lady. Patricia, first of all, thank you very much yeah, uh, for, for being on Revd Up tonight. Uh, I have so many questions for you because I'm pretty much fascinated by your own career. A 26-year-old who has won already these three belts, and this is not all. Kickboxing, where did this whole kickboxing issue come from? Uh, actually, my dad was a former boxer. However much, he didn't take it to a professional level. Mm. And, uh, and then after that, I saw my mother was an athlete as a runner. But to me, I saw most of my people, some are joining as engineers, journalists and stuff. So I was like, I want to pick up from my, where my parents left it. Mm. So that's why I decided to join on, on uh, sports activities. And I'm like, yeah, I think I can make it. Mm. And uh, yeah, here I am right now. I'm actually determined. We, we, we've, we've seen uh, kickboxers who try to make the transition to boxing and actually fail. We've seen some of those, but you've made that transition. Uh, it's been pretty successful. Uh, is it something you wanted from the beginning or later on you said, you know what, I can drop the kicks and do more of the boxing as well? Um, actually, it is something that, uh, as you see, kickboxing is uh, something, combination of kicks and, and uh, punches. So I was like, if I'm good or so in kicks and punches on uh, kickboxing world, why not try out in, uh, in uh, boxing? Because in amateur, I was playing as a boxer. So when I went to Germany, this guy is like, you're good in the whatever, just change into a professional fight and co continue with the boxing mm, thing. Mm. So I copped up and I'm like, yeah, I'm good at it. Let, 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 let me ask you something very personal. Uh, did you ever be out there on, 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 on a training session or walking anywhere and you meet some guys who are like, hey, this one I'm not, try I'm not, I'm not, I'm not even trying to disturb it anyway? Um, actually, there are a lot of guys, but most of the people fail to understand me because when they meet me, they're like, this is not the girl we know. Mm. The, because I'm calm, I, I don't behave like how some hooligans on the road. Someone has trained for two weeks yeah. and is claiming to be a boxer because has black knuckles yeah. and start threatening everyone on the street. No, actually, it's very few people who understand me after the ring. Mm. They will be like, ah, oh, we know, I think she's the one. No, she's not the one yeah. because I'm very calm, social, mm. noble, and I do what I like most mm. other than engaging myself into some... Just you're, you're into some film as well. You're, you're, you're quite all over the place. Yeah, uh, actually right now we are having uh, a UNTI a UN stuff and uh, they're ask, asking me to be a, a doctor in that movie. Oh really? And we are having a collab with uh, some uh, Nigerians who are coming in. And uh, we are successfully doing it because yesterday it was a shoot because I'm traveling tonight. Mm. And uh, everything went up uh, as we planned. Yeah. So my directors were very happy. Mm. And uh, we are looking at having something which will be more productive for the country, mostly for people who have cancer and yeah. those who are doing things in an unknowing way and they contract cancer and at the end of it all blame the government for it or blame mm. anyone. Mm. And we are teaching people the ways of to deal away with some certain diseases as mm. well. I, I want us to talk about Fiat and how she uh, fully got into this one. But I want to first ask her a very specific question. Uh, earlier on in your life, I, I'm thinking your life was, was confused. I'm thinking your life was messed because when I read about you, you played football, you did kickboxing, your boxing. Taekwondo. Uh, taekwondo. Yes. <laughs> what, what can't you make up your mind, Patricia? What can't um, you make up your mind? You know, in this world, actually, the people, I don't know either the advisors of the government don't want to tell the government where to really invest in the sport in order to push the country forward, or the country has become ignorant of what to do. Mm. So you find out that most of the time we try some other things and then we fail. Take for instance, I myself am a business of my own. 
So I have to invest on myself in order to push myself to be what people want. In yeah. order for someone to buy me, I have to, to, to actually buy things to make myself move. Absolutely. So if I see I'm not productive in soccer, I move out. If I see I'm not working out in kickboxing, I move out. Anything that I see that it's not selling me as a product, I have to go out. out yeah, so I saw that kickboxing was actually pushing me more than any other sport. So that's why I had to say all these sports go off and then I had to embrace kickboxing. The, the big question in the house, I mean, this is a car show, guys. Please don't, don't, uh, don't think you're, you're, you're tuned into a sports show this very evening. It's completely a car show. Fiat, yeah. you're the first here in Uganda. Yeah. Um, I was seeing you right before we came on set and how you are looking at the car. You are pretty excited. What, what is it you like about it? Uh, actually, you see that car is quite comfortable. This car has good wheels mm. and it's very strong. The air conditioner inside is really so nice and uh, the, it has Bluetooth, so mm. it is mm. actually a more modernized car other than these cars that we talk of. Everything about it is just so unique. Mm. So like me as a champion, I feel it's a home for me. That's why they call it uh, the champion's choice. As yeah. you're talking about the whole Bluetooth issue inside, it's a very intelligent car on the inside. We've talked about how the relevance of trucks over the years has changed. And I think this pretty much epitomizes that. First of all, thank you very, very much. I hope I can keep the belts for a few... More uh, hours. <laughs> a, few, a, few, a few more hours. Uh, we would, later on in the show, of course, we jump into the car itself. Pretty much show you what the car is all about. Put on, put on, put on, put on, put on, put on, put on. Fiat is perhaps best known for its excellent hot hatchbacks, so it's surprising to see them add to the ranks of the numerous other brands that have produced luxury pickup trucks over recent years. The Fiat fullback, however, is not just one of the crowd. With its 2.5-litre engine, the total horsepower generated is 136. This is combined with a 5-speed manual transmission, which makes the pickup ideal for off-roading due to the increased driver control over the car. Now recently, there's been a groundbreak from Fiat because they have moved on from their usual traditional, you know, town and house cars. I'm sure you've seen uh, the Fiat Panda, you've seen uh, the Fiat 500. They've actually broken ground and produced their first pickup. That is the fullback from the Fiat professional family. Now, with changing shape and changing designs means changing everything, whether it's down to power, whether it's down to space. And one of the things they have done for their first pickup is to make sure it has enough space. We start off with the load box. Pretty much the load box has about 1,500 millimeters in length to 1,470 millimeters in width, uh, with about 475 millimeters in depth. That means you can probably put about 20 of me in there. But more interestingly, it has a payload that goes up to 1,045. So yes, not just changing design for Fiat, not just changing space, but they have also made sure the pickup they are producing for their very first time is pretty much enough to help you go wherever you're going if what you're putting in here is anything to go by. The interior of the Fiat fullback lives up to the standards required by pickup trucks these days. It has a leather trim interior, steering wheel and shift knob. It is fitted with a top-of-the-line entertainment system with a 6.1-inch touchscreen, Bluetooth connectivity and satellite navigation. There's a rear camera fitted as well as lane departure warning. All right, so let's uh, start up this engine and see what this dashboard can actually show us. First of all, when you switch on your your engine and look at the dashboard, uh, the, the dashboard itself, you just see a couple of airbag signs in there. There's airbags for uh, the driver and the passenger. So safety, safety is everything for Fiat as well. And then there is a little beautiful segment right here in the middle with a big screen, uh, which pretty much should help you with everything for your entertainment. I uh, can see there's uh, where well, you can put a CD. There is a uh, uh, there's space for a memory card, there's USB in there, you can control your AC from here as well. And then when you look right in front of the steering wheel where the driver is seated, there's a small screen in there, uh, minus of course the, the, the other gauges. You can also look at your fuel, uh, what your fuel looks like, how much you've traveled in there. And then you have a couple of buttons on your screen, or sorry, on your steering wheel. You just have a small button where you can actually just look at your volume, if in case you're playing any kind of music out there. So. Quite civilized on the inside and one of the beautiful things about driving the fiat is you're enjoying an experience of moving forward but also a beautiful dashboard staring at you look now with the back seats i mean i'm quite a tall guy probably seven eight feet we can certainly have a debate about that one but look at how much leg room and how much headroom i'm dealing with in the back seats which by the way are cloth but for now let's get out of the back seats take the front seat and take the wheel 
All right, so the fullback, we're going to take it for a drive. But let me first let you know what we're dealing with. We're dealing with about 136 kilowatts of brake horsepower. We are dealing with about uh, 324 newton meters of torque. We have uh, a five-speed gearbox. Let's see how good it gets on the road. The one thing you need to know about this very car is everything to do with its fuel efficiency because uh, it takes in about 940 kilometers on a full tank. Now its full tank is about uh, 75 liters but for a driving experience when it comes down to how good a car is and how comfortable you can take it on most of these roads it's, it's not the kind of car you're always going to find struggling with in some of these roads. All right, so at the very beginning, we talked about how this is the first truck Fiat have produced uh, because they have really had so many small little family and, and, and town cars before. But when you drive, feel the handling, feel how it easily goes through any of the obstacles you find on the road, you've got to say, very good start from Fiat. And of course, forgive me for being a very big football fan, the word fullback in the modern game these days actually means Someone who has very high speed, can defend and actually can attack when it comes down to football matches. On a better road probably, on tarmac, very good high speeds, probably lives up to the name, fullback. Fiat has certainly put its best foot forward with this truck, providing an outstanding pickup model that displays the traditional look of a Fiat with the power and multi-functionality required by this vehicle class.